Welcome people of the World Wide Web. So it's Cypher Sigma here and we start in 2024 the next look what I have been watching. So anybody who's new to the series or just come across this video and has no idea what this is about, um, this is whole series is basically kind of a take on look who's talking. So it's look what I'm watching. Um, and basically what I would do is I will go over the previous week or several weeks. Um, this one, it's like the past two or three weeks since Christmas of what all the physical media that I've been watching. Um, if I go to see something at a cinema, that will be a weekend review. And if it's online, I don't normally review the stuff for streaming. I may do in the future, depending on what I'm watching and stuff like this. And if I don't end up watching a lot of physical media, but because I do, and that's kind of where the channel is focused on physical media. Um, this is where this channel, this is what this channel is about and what it's seriously. So yeah, so it's look what I'm watching, whatever episode it is, I lose track. Um, I have put a playlist together now over Christmas period and I realise I've screwed two weeks, I've multiplied the numbers up, so apologies for that. Um, but obviously this one will be added in, so if you do want to go back and watch the other ones, there's a full playlist for you to watch. <laughs> and as you see, I very uh, varies what I watch from week to week and I, I into a lot of different things. So this is what we have, quite a few DVDs and Blu-rays for, actually let's uh, do a little... Um, there for the little um, clip for the picture for the video. So we shall go into it. So I normally go reverse order, but I've actually sorted these out just so they're easy. So the first one is, so this is what I bought a little while ago. So this is the Zavi edition of Captain America Civil War. Um, so you can see there's the Steelbook there version of it. Uh, Rewatching this, actually really, really enjoyed it. It, it. it it made me think of just how good some of the Marvel stuff was. I mean, of late, I'm very fatigued with stuff. Um, I mean, Loki season two and Marvel What If are the ones I've watched recently, and it kind of feels like I'm just going over the paces of watching them, and I'm not. I'm watching, pardon me, for the sake of watching them and just not really enjoying them, and that's how I don't really want to be. So I'm quite glad this year we don't get much Marvel or DC and we can have a break. From everything. But yeah, this was front and good. This was a cheap, I think it cost me about five, six pounds. All in all, really nice steel book to add to the um, collection. And obviously, it's Blu ray, so it's a nice quality there. So that is the first one. Then we go through some of my Christmas stuff that I picked up. So, one of my Christmas presents from my sister and brother in law and kids was Transformers Rise of the Beast. So, this is my second watch of this. Um, it was all right again. They didn't learn their lesson, you know, Bumblebee was so great, this could have been so much more, this is why this wasn't featured in my top 10 of the year, um, just, yeah, I mean, Transformers 1 looks like it could be good, but we haven't really seen anything from it, but I mean, Rise of the Beasts, I don't know why they just didn't take Optimus and be out and have mostly about the beasts and then bring them in later. And yeah, so Transformers was a little bit disappointing, but um, even on the second watch, it probably goes down. I think I had it in the sevens, because I was quite dry. It probably goes down to the six and all fairness. And this is all I do with my reviews. Obviously, I have one review when I sit at the cinema, and then I watch it six months, a year later, and then kind of see how it feels, and it has gone down in my estimates. Rewatching it, it just, yeah, there was so much potential, and it just, I, I you know, but... Anyway, so let me get into more the Christmas movies and stuff. So then I bought this because I didn't realize I have loved this movie last Christmas. Um, you know, I enjoyed all the music stuff. I really love watching it. I do like um, I can't even remember Amelia Clark. Um, and I really like Henry Golden. I think they are very good pairing. The story is very good. The twist is there. And obviously, how, if you've been seeing in my videos, meet up in London with AJ. I've actually been to the place and I took my wife to some of the locations as well. So it was quite nice to be able to actually see some of the locations in the movie. Um, next one we have is Dead Rises. This is a cheap one I picked up recently for I think £2.50. <sighs> what? A, it was a bit of a hard slog for two hours. It was like a really rubbish B to C list movie. The zombies, well, you know, you've well, got so many zombie stuff on there. It just it wasn't that good. The acting and the main character, Jesse Metcalf or whatever, is Jesse, whatever his name is. Let me find it. No, it's Jesse Metcalf. He's just some of the action scenes. He's so slow. You can see he's not an action star, and he's trying to do it all. And it just it didn't work for me. I mean, it it had the elements from the game, but just did it. It was really kind of a almost a spoof of the game as a movie, 
but done really badly in my eyes. Um, it is what it is. It says it's from Mortal Kombat Legacy and Transformer for you know, it may have had some good people behind it, but yeah, I just it is what it is. Next one, so we have K2O, so this was a birthday present, I believe. I can't remember who bought that. Absolutely stunning movie. So this is done in Japan after World War Two and basically um Japan didn't um bomb America, Pearl Harbor didn't happen. Um, so they are kind of more an independent state, they're not as um, worn down as they are for the Americans and dropping the bomb on Hiroshima and everything, that never happened. But you have this criminal, um, who is the guy or person here, he's called K-20, or I think The Fiend his name is. Um, basically he is the man of 20 faces, which is why he's called K-20. Um, he can. He basically is a very famous criminal. He goes and nicks stuff, and he can wear masks. Bit of Mission Impossible style to look there. Um, and then you basically have a um, traveling man in a circus get stitched up by him, and then it all comes uh, into one pop. Very, very good. The stunts and everything. Are, you know, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It, it, you know, the CG and stuff is is great, and just the action heroes. It is subtitled stuff, and it is um, very cunning in places, but brilliant, brilliant movie. I'd love to have this. So I kind of saw this and put this on my list. I didn't know anything about it, watched it, and for two hours I was absolutely engrossed. So glad to have that in the collection. Next one, because I started to get into ice hockey a little bit, is Goon. So I watched this over the Christmas period. Not a bad movie, not awesome, as I said, but I quite enjoyed the side of it, you know, seeing Sean William Scott as a kind of a down to earth, but it, it has a very core story to it. It's quite bloody and quite gruesome in places, uh, but not but not bad. And I know there's a second one, so I've got to look to get that one. And then another one on my Christmas list, just to finish the Terminators, was the really bad Terminator Dark Fate. Rewatching it a second time, I found some elements really good. I did quite like the Terminator and it splitting and stuff like this. But just, uh, just the, the whole overall storyline and them just recycling it. But now it's not John Connor, it's someone else. And I, did, I didn't gravitate to the, the female lead in all fairness. Sarah Connor coming into it and having Arnie, obviously, they just kind of almost plot devices and stuff. And yeah, I, I'm, it is what it is. I've got it. It completes the collection. Number one, I only come across this many years ago when my wife introduced this when we were first dating. So Ezio Trot. So this is a Ronald Dahl book. It's Tortoise Backwards. And it's about a elderly couple who kind of fall in love over a tortoise. Uh, Ezio Trot. And I'm not going to give anything away if anybody has any. It's like a BBC type one. But very, very good. It's got James Corden in it. He narrates it. But he's not too bad. It's, it's one of the lesser ones. Um, another Christmas movie. I saw this a while ago, Snoopy um, and Charlie Brown, the Peanuts movie. Uh, like this, really good modern day adaption of the Peanuts franchise. Um, do really like Hello Animated, do like the story. It's a fun little one to kind of turn your brain off and enjoy. And it's to see something about Charlie Brown. And it's quite funny with the, the Snoopy and Woodstock side of things. So yeah, that was great. Um, then another one. This has been on the back burner for a while, so this is Drift, this is um, based on a true story. It is a couple, they are tasked, like, well, they've only met and been dating a few months. Um, the bloke, he's built his own ship and friends of him have this boat that they want to uh, get back to America from, I think, Thailand. So he's tasked, um, given a load of money to do it, he takes his girlfriend on and unfortunately a storm hits, the boat gets capsized, he gets thrown off the boat and she... Um, then has to rescue him and try and find their way back. It is based off a true story. It's quite harrow when you hear what happened. It does keep you kind of gripped. I was quite surprised. The trailer gives quite a lot of it away, but it is quite enjoyable. And as you go through the story, the story starts off with the boat being wrecked and then you learn the backstory of everything happening. So it's kind of the first half of the story is being played intermixed with the second half of the story at the same time, if that makes sense. So yeah, not a bad movie at all, quite surprised. Um, then a few classics, we have Dragon Hearts, the Sean Connery as a dragon one with Dennis Quaid. Quite a fun action packed movie, I quite enjoyed this. Uh, do like dragons and stuff like this. And yeah, it was a, a fun little um, 
movie. I, I quite like the props and stuff they use in this and how they set up the kind of sceneries. It, it, I think it worked really, really well. And it was a nice, enjoyable kind of family movie. Um, and then the final one was the series that my wife had. She really liked this. Obviously, she used to work at an airport many years back in the day and watches the program. And this is a spoof, a one-off. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of, of Matt Lucas and David Williams. Not really seen much. I watched this and I actually really, really enjoyed it. I found it really funny. Um, with my work, I sometimes do travel in that side. So I had through some of the experiences that these people have been through. Um, but there we go, kind of spammed through it. So that is everything I've watched over the past few weeks. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video of Look What I've Been Watching. I've been Cypher Sigma Screen Time and I'll see you in the next one.